Alright guys, so this is another clip of the uh, 76 vet running and um, I just uh, yesterday changed the oil, I put uh, synthetic oil in it and um, a new filter and um, I also put a new cap and rotor on it and um, that made the engine sound tons better. Uh, there was a noticeable improvement in the, the smoothness of it idle and um, so I'm pretty sure the old one was just you know getting corroded and whatnot. Um, the old cap and rotor. So they helped out a lot. And then also you may notice a little bit difference in the exhaust and that's because I got rid of the catalytic converter um, so I was pretty sure it was stopped up and I had cut it in front anyways like I said in the last video. Um, and I just stuck a piece of flex pipe in there temporarily just to uh, seal up that major exhaust leak. Um, and uh, also, you know, just get rid of the cat because I don't want that anyways. Um, but when I did that, I found out that the, uh, the Y pipe in the rear of the vet, um, it actually had a big uh, split where it's connected. The two pipes are connected, uh, the Y. So it's really uh, leaking pretty bad there. I'm, I'm going to try to get it welded uh, sometime until I can just buy a new Y pipe. And eventually, like I said before in the other video, I'm just going to pretty much redo the whole exhaust system. But I don't have tons of money right now. Um, so I'm just trying to get it, you know, running and driving really good uh, first before I worry about, you know, fixing it up uh, better, I guess. But it sounds a whole lot better with that, you know, pipe not just dangling there. And you can see my backup lights are on because <laughs> I got the key on. I took them out of the socket because they had burnt the, uh, the the left socket, the driver's side, and I don't want I didn't want it to burn the other socket too. So it's actually like melted the plastic because it stayed on too long. They're not supposed to, you know, stay on that long. So I just want to make a brief clip of it running, and uh, also got my headlight up. I uh, got got it put back together with the old parts. Um, I just cleaned them and painted them, and uh, so I'm gonna see if they start working now, or at least the, the driver's side. I didn't do the passenger side yet, so we'll see what happens with that. Okay, so uh, we got a little experiment going here. Um, as you can see, I sprayed the uh, head headlight uh, lid with um, some primer, and uh, it's just some old lacquer primer that my dad had, and uh, we mixed it up uh, with some of his old lacquer thinner, and uh, we didn't know for sure if it was going to work or not because it's like 20 years old, but um, you know, trying to save a little bit of money and for the primer, you know, you sand it all off anyways. And I'm not going for uh, you know, gloss, high gloss, metallic finishes or anything like that. Um, but we still want it to work, you know, good. So I sprayed it on here like an, uh, 45 minutes ago, maybe, and uh, tried to use some of my old uh, crappy spot putty on it, but it doesn't seem to be working too well. Um, so I'm just gonna let that dry up a little bit and then uh, wet sand it. Um, so we're just gonna see how it acts. You know, if it acts okay, I'll probably spray the whole car with it <clears throat> um, when I get a chance, you know, and after I do some body work and whatnot. And uh, it'll probably stay in uh, primer for a while so I can save up enough money for the um, uh, hot rod flats, dark gray that I want, and uh, the uh, gloss dark green stripe and everything. So I just thought I'd make a little clip of that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I was going to talk about. I don't think so. So, I guess that's it for now. Alright, guys, so as you can see, I've been starting a little bit of body work here on the nose of the vet. And um, as you probably saw before, this rubber bumper on here is really gnarled up from the sun and age, and it's really pitted. And um, it actually looks a little better now because I've I sanded it, hit it with some 60 grit and uh, knock down some of the nibs a little bit um, but uh, over here I've been smearing a little bit of Bondo now I figured that since uh, this rubber bumper does flex 
Um, I don't want to put it on there too thick because then the bondo will probably just crack off. So I just skimmed a little bit on there. Um, mostly just to get rid of the pitting and um, not worry so much about like the dips that it has. Because uh, like this is, I call this my rat bet. You know, it's not going to be a show car or anything. Um, it's just going to be a, a nice driver. So, uh, and it's going to be satin paint as well. So it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. So I'm just, you know, smearing a little bit of Bondo on there, and this is the second coat I put on, and uh, it's real thin and smooth, and I just hit it with the, um, my breaker paper, uh, to get it to where, it, you know, it won't eat the paper, um, and I can really go at it with the sandpaper. And uh, I'm going to put some on that side too, and, um, also, I think in the clip before this, I had, uh, talked about priming this headlight, um, here, and I got it primed, and wet sanded it again after I put a little bit of old spot putty on it and uh, put some more primer on just a real thin coat just to make it colored and uh, so the whole car is going to be like that you know I'll put the primer heavy on like the bodywork areas and then um, just mist it on the other areas so it's all one color until I can save up enough money for the paint itself um, also this little piece here was freaking noisy car going by um, this piece here was sticking out, so I just put a screw up underneath here into the uh, rubber bumper behind this, and uh, that pulled that in nice, and you can't tell it's there. Um, I also want to show you the back here. Uh, so, you probably saw that this was pretty gnarled up too, um, but it's not as pitted as bad as the front was, so I just hit it with some 60 grit, and um, it, it smoothed it out pretty nice. I took the emblem off. And um, I'm going to wet sand it with some like 220 and then prime it pretty heavy. And uh, that should be really good there. So that's what I'm doing today, just starting on that. Alright, so I got both the uh, front rubber bumper part and the back uh, rubber bumper part covered in some primer here. And uh, just put a couple thick coats of lacquer primer on there. It's the old stuff that my dad had. And um, I just put the lenses back in, the tail lights. And, uh, so I think it looks tons better just being like a uniform color and, um, being quite a bit smoother. Um, still needs to be spot puttied and blocked down quite a bit. Um, but it, it looks tons better just like it is right now. So let me show you the front here. front looks a whole lot better too and um, instead of trying to uh, tape off these plastic grill pieces here I just taped off the headlights and um, painted over it because I would have taken them out to like you know paint them um, or not prime them I guess I should say but the screws are rusted shut you know in there so I got to drill them out probably um, and I didn't feel like taping it so I can always re reflat black it or satin black or green or whatever I want to do and the same with these uh, bumper pieces here and I took off the uh, license tag thing that was up here and also sprayed this metal thing here after I scuffed it down so um, this bumper needs some spot putty and work too but looks a whole lot better so that's all I'm doing for today hopefully um, you know I can get some more I think I'm probably going to run out of primer and lacquer thinner before I get done with the whole thing, so I need to buy some more. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it.